we have solids which has vacuum in it or uh, forces of shrinata in it. We have uh, then the, inside the particle there are many many more particles. And in fact, we found later that the, there are particles which come absolutely for very small duration. And in fact, there is when we go to the ultimate picture, there's a constant in network. Trying to remind my time. Uh, we have um, four minutes uh, still to go. Yeah. Uh, that when there is, a, we come to that. There is an internet. Uh, uh, there is an interconnect or interconnection of energy and particles, where particles and energy constantly die and transform itself into different shapes. That is the ultimate picture. So the ultimate picture is that of a constant motion. So question with which we started, what is the absolute picture? Where from we get this thing? First of all, it broke down in case of solidness. The three-dimensional space is not absolute. That is, contracts as far when the, the velocity goes to near the velocity of light. Then we found that even time that was considered absolute is not absolute. It has also its different uh, it, 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 for example, dilates when uh, velocity goes to that of uh, velocity of light. When we try to found, find the absoluteness in terms of the solid, and there, there also we found that it is uh, not the atom that is the ultimate nature of the thing. There are so many particles inside it, and a constant interaction, and the interweaving of constant energy and interaction. So. And then when we started asking about the uh, beginning of the universe, we found that it also starts from a kind of vacuum, after all. That is what, what is amazing, in the sense that it starts from vacuum, and vacuum is vibrant with energy, and ultimately the resonance of this vibration has led to the <coughs> Big Bang, the formation of uh, uh, universe coming up of particles uh, which formally glue to, uh, to the case of uh, particles or atoms. So the, whenever we have tried to find the ultimate picture, the picture is that of a constant change. But then there is some hope, some hope in the sense that, uh, that so the question may be that is it absolute chaos? No, it's not absolute chaos. Even within these constant changes, we find patterns. The patterns that keep repeating. So that, perhaps, is the uh, nature of the ultimate reality. That some patterns remain. How the particles will interact, how they will form atoms, how they will go into bigger structures, how they will form uh, the, uh, the, the, the so-called stars, the planets, and how they would go into black holes. So all these, there are some patterns. So it is basically the search for these patterns that continuously has been going on in the field of uh, uh, physics, as of now, theoretical physics. The constant idea of bootstrap, that everything is connected, that nothing is uh, absolute in the sense that it is connected with the interconnected world. So that is the picture that is slowly emerging. And we find, I was told uh, that this resonates with the idea of Sunyata, which Nagarjuna um, seemed to propagate. And so this needs some sort of more deeper connection. And I hope this. Uh, conference will try to grow these connections in more detail. Thank you.